Y'all, right here again, look at that rod almost in the water. We got another flathead. Guaranteed. Oh, yep, yep. Again, I did not feel it. I just felt my kayak and looked back and there's my rod. I guarantee you this is another flathead. This is on that piece of white bass I sent down. Got the one live bait left on my other rod behind me. I'll just put a, a chunk of the white bass down on this one though. Guarantee you this is a flathead. Feels like a pretty good one too. Oh man, he's a bull and he's a digging. Whoo. That's another hard fighting fish right here. I sure was hoping to. I got several flatheads last week. Some good ones too. I mean, for those of you that watched the videos, my regular viewers, you saw them. But my last trip out on my, you know, my granted, my videos are about a week behind. But my last trip out was catfishing anyway, it was like three days ago. And I didn't get any flatheads on that trip. Got a big blue. You know, blue that was over 44 inches long. I mean, it was a whopper. No flatheads on that trip. And so coming out here today, I was like, man, I hope there's some more flatheads in this hole. I still have moved. I've been spot locked here right where I set up this morning. Kind of, I mean, if you look around here, around me, I'm kind of just right in the middle of the dang river channel. Just right in the, right in the middle of the old river channel, the original Tennessee riverbed that was here before TVA flooded all this to make the reservoirs. And again, there's just a, there's a deeper hole right here in this section. And these fish, they're using it right now. Ain't never a bad time to fish a main channel ledge or a deep hole, ever. But right now, they're in here in really good numbers on this spot. Oh man, look at that. That's a big flathead. Oh, oh, oh. oh man, that's a big flathead. man look at that flathead guys we got him up here by the kayak look at that thing you can see what he eat right there that's that skit or that white bass midsection that's a dang good flathead oh man oh whoa he ain't done he ain't done okay get him on in here oh 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 boy he's wound <laughs> Man, it's fun, y'all. Yo, this fish had them live baits out there all morning out here. Still got one on this. That rod right there with the live bluegill is, what, 15 foot at the most apart from this piece of cut bait? The bigger flathead that come through ate the cut bait, which I'm about to rehook. And drop right back down right quick. He's still wound up, man. He's got some energy. He's going to be flopping around. It just dawned on me. I don't think I measured that other flathead. I held him up. I don't think I ever put him on the board for you. Maybe I did. I could be going crazy, too. At my older age, that's starting to happen. But uh, we'll put this one on the board for sure. All right, we already got that bait reset. Man, look at this thing. Boy, oh, he's, he's wound. Look at him. Look at the head on that thing. What do you think he's thinking about right now? He's thinking, I want to get held up for a picture is what I want to do. Oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> there he is. Nice, man. Oh, that's awesome. I love flatheads. Let's go straight to the board with him. Oh, that's a good, good flathead. He's over 39 inches. He'll be about 39 and a half right there. Holy cow, what a flathead. Boy, he was a good time. All right, guys. Let's hold him up here one more time for you. You know, I said it a million times. You keep your baits on good structure, you're eventually going to get bit and... 
you know, I've just hit place to place to place out here and you know, you stumble stumble into a place like this and I'm gonna keep hitting it, man. I'm just gonna keep hitting it till these things quit biting. Let's send him home. Oh, oh crap. I just flung my bucket off over. Y'all have to get it here in a second. He's got some blood here in the corner of his mouth. Bye bye, bucket. I'll come get you in a second. Flatty, we'll see you. Take off. Why don't you swim over there and get my bucket right quick? He said, heck with that. He don't work for me. 